in this video we will look at the uh, PMF function for a discrete random variable and, and go over some examples so uh, PMF that's the probability mass function for a discrete random variable X the probability mass function uh, is defined by P P subscript capital X of lowercase x uh, and so the function is denoted by this and the value of this function is uh, is the probability this is the probability that that x is equal to lowercase x now I haven't been uh, writing PR I, I have been writing P just for probability but now that we have the PMF function there might be a little bit of confusion but I hope that's not going to be a big deal so that's the PMF function it's the uh, the function PX of X uh, it's equal to the probability that x is equal to x now um, when the context is clear instead of we don't need to write the subscript there so uh, a lot of most of the time we will just write p of lowercase x when what we mean is uh, px of x um, notice if x is not a value of x if x is not a value of the random vari variable x uh, then the then the pmf function p evaluated at uh, x should be zero Uh, the PMF function has uh, two properties number one is that the P of X is uh, a number between 0 and 1 for all X uh, of course after all P of X is uh, has ha the value of P of X is is a probability and we know a probability of an event is between 0 and 1 and number two um, sum over all values of i of p of x i is 1 that is the sum of the probabilities of all values of x is 1 now let me explain number 2 in number 2 the summand is p of x i which is the same as the probability of the event that x is equal to lowercase uh, xi so as i goes over all possibilities the events x equals to xi are disjoint and they cover the entire sample space so in number two the sum is basically the total probability is the probability of the entire sample space which should be one um, let's carry out an example let flip three fair coins fair means the probability of getting a head is half and the probability of getting a tail is half let's take let's let X be the number of heads and we have looked at this example before and we calculated the probability of each value of x so if we are the, the possible values of x here are 0 1 2 or 3 and the probability of getting 0 heads is 1 8 the probability of getting 1 head is 3 8 the probability of getting 2 heads is 3 8 the probability of getting 3 heads is 1 8 now we can express this uh, probability 
distribution table uh, uh, by using a bar graph so in the bar graph I have four rectangles um, all having the same width I have one rect I have a rectangle for each value of X and the height of each rectangle is the is the probability of the corresponding value of X now this is called the probability bar graph now notice that I have gaps between the rectangles if I remove the gaps then uh, I will call that a probability histogram let's look at another example uh, let X be a discrete random variable and uh, assume that the values of X are 0 1 2 uh, dot 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 to infinity uh, let P of n be equal to uh, um, be equal to the probability that x is equal to n which is equal to c times lambda to the n over n factorial now uh, c is a constant here and the first question is find the value of c uh, uh, if P of n is a valid uh, probability mass function of X okay so how do, how do we find C well we are going to go back to the second property of a PMF uh, by the second property we know that the total probability is 1 so which means which means if I take the sum over all values of n and going from 0 to infinity of P of n I should be getting 1 now this is equivalent to saying the, prob uh, the sum and going from 0 to infinity C times lambda to the n over n factorial is equal to 1 now because C is just a constant we can take it outside of the sum or factor it out of the sum and then we have C times the sum of lambda to the n over and factorial and I hope some of you will recognize this sum from calculus 2 uh, from calculus 2 oh, I, oh, let me finish this is an equation equals to 1 from calculus 2 we know that that sum is exactly e to the power lambda that's the power series representation of e to the lambda so I get C times e to the lambda is 1 which in turn tells me that C is e to the negative lambda so so that's the value of C okay so let's now answer a second question what's the probability what's the probability that X is 0 well the probability that X is 0 is going to be um, I can compute that value by replacing n by 0 in my formula so uh, so this is the formula that I have now I know the value of C is e to the negative lambda so when n is 0 I get the probability that x is 0 is e to the minus lambda times lambda to the 0 over 0 factorial lambda to the 0 is 1 0 factorial is 1 so I am uh, I end up with e to the negative lambda okay now the second question is uh, part C is what's the probability that X is at least 2 well the probability that X is at least 2 is the same as the sum n going from 2 to infinity the probability the uh, probability that X is n 
uh, which is the same as n going from 2 to infinity uh, sum n going from 2 to infinity e to the negative lambda lambda to the n over n factorial because that's the formula for p of n now how do we compute this uh, sum well what we will do is um, is the following uh, we are going to first of all factor out e to the negative lambda because it doesn't depend on n and then we have summation n going from 2 to infinity e to the no, uh, lambda to the n over n factorial and again this summation looks like the power series representation of uh, e to the lambda but we need to do some work because the index starts at 2 not 0 so in order to replace this uh, remember when we had the summation n going from 0 to infinity uh, lambda to the n over n factorial that's e to the lambda so but I am um, my index starts at 2 so what do I do well we can do the following trick we will put in the missing terms so I have e to the minus lambda um, in the sum I am going to add uh, the terms I'm going to add two terms so I'm going to start the index at zero which means that I added two extra terms in the sum so I have to subtract them out so what I added is I added lambda to the zero over zero factorial and I also added lambda to the uh, one over one factorial and so I have to subtract them out so when I started my index at zero I added in these two terms so therefore I have to subtract them out so what I get then e to the minus lambda the sum now is e to the lambda because that's the power series representation of e to the lambda minus uh, this one minus lambda and if I multiply out I get 1 minus e to the minus lambda minus lambda e to the minus lambda and that's it so that's the probability that x is at least 2 given that the PMF function is given by uh, C times lambda to the n over n factorial where c is e to the minus lambda as we saw in part a all right so uh, go ahead and uh, keep watching the videos if you have to and read the notes and make sure that um, you understand uh, everything if you have questions please uh, contact me in my office or in the class I'll see you in the next video.